Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today is a project layout focused on um, the previous video that I had shown in regards to my project trays. Um, if you're unfamiliar with that, I will link it down below in the description box for you so that you can check it out. What it is, is I received a um, the Willemstad kit from Click International and um, I tend to get overwhelmed with a lot of product, especially breaking in a new kit. So I broke it down into a lot of different um, projects and this is the first project. Um, so in the center there, that's the kit, the pieces from the kit um, that I pulled out and then the tray along with all of these different puffy stickers, some enamel stickers. Um, I do even have like chipboards and wooden pieces and whatnot and then these circle color theory labels um, I pulled those from my stash they kind of coordinate with this um, and I know I'm going to need little bits here and there especially for journaling um, and I also want to try to use through my stash too so this is always a, also a good way to include and incorporate that as well um, in this kit I would have to say that this paper really got my attention from the minute that I got it. It was the one that spoke to me um, in the moment and I almost knew exactly what I wanted to do with it whenever I got it. Um, my family and I recently took a trip to the beach and I had some photos of my boys playing in the sand and they're getting older now and it's sad like they don't they don't make the starfish or sand castles a lot like they used to um but on this day they were really into it and they were digging this giant hole and seeing how far they could go down and then my youngest was playing in it so it was one of those feel good moments where i snapped a lot of pictures and a layout like this helps incorporate more than just one photo on a layout which to me sometimes in this like for this example is important um, so I was able to capture four photos from that day and include all four of them on here um, I did use a larger I believe that's a two inch circle punch um, and punched out my smaller size uh, photos that way they were close to the size as the circles on this background paper um, I wanted to repeat that shape um, to help kind of bring everything together and keep the layout as cohesive as possible um, when I was creating this. So I, I had four of them. I, I didn't have really any rhyme or reason as to where I wanted them to be on it. I just know I didn't want them clustered together. Um, and as I was going through the ephemera, that was really what helped me decide where I wanted to put my photos at. Um, I color blocked my ephemera. Um, so starting up at the top, you can see that yellow circle. I used the yellow lemonade, even though this has absolutely nothing to do with lemonade. I, you know, it color matched and it worked. Um, the palm trees, I color blocked on the green circle, which obviously it worked for this because we were at the beach. Um, and then over towards the right, the red car. I think the license plate on that says road trip. Um, so it, it does you know, coordinate with this, not specifically the photos, but you know, the vacation itself was a road trip. Um, and then I tucked in some pink ice cream cones there behind uh, the loving this sentiment. And then down towards the bottom, um, I used that teal popsicle with the teal circle. Um, I, do ha I did have those orange flip flops that I pulled out of my stash and I played with them a bunch trying to get them to fit because the, this is one of those pieces where I've had it in my stash forever in a year and I just wanted to use it to get it out of my stash and onto a page but in the end I did not end up using them. I, I couldn't get it to work. Um, same thing with these water splashes right here. It would have been perfect because they were playing by the water but you know it just it didn't work and I didn't want to force it. Um, so I ended up finding this other circle chipboard piece from Ellie's studio on the or it, cardstock piece from Ellie Studio on the bottom right there and I felt that that worked a lot better than the orange flip-flop so I'll pull the orange flip-flops off keep those blue ones there um, and then I'm going to come in and add three of these color theory circle labels um, again keeping the shapes cohesive um, and rep repetition and then I'm also going to color block these as well so that pink one or that sticker there is a pink one that will go down with the pink embellishments the blue at the bottom was and then I also add the third one of the teal right above um, that bottom photo beside the popsicle 
I use these places to add um, my journaling and each one doesn't have a complete thought. I kind of break one large thought over the three different areas. It, if you don't like having a full sentence on a piece, it, I would have probably struggled with it, but it, it worked in the end. Um, there really wasn't a whole, whole lot to tell other than the fact about how much they enjoyed themselves, which, I mean, we knew that, we know that. Um, I just wanted to put the thought down on paper, so that's how I did it. I just broke it up between those three. Um, I'm going to also go in and add some of these layered hearts from Vicky's collection. Um, I absolutely love the dimension on these hearts, and this whole page itself is just layer after layer of dimension. Um, so it, it, they just worked perfectly. Um, the sunglasses there, I, again, I really tried to get them to work. It just wasn't happening. And then I, I come to the conclusion that, okay, the pieces that you have on there, they're perfectly fine. We're just going to end it with that. I didn't want to overwhelm the page too, too much more because then it would start taking away, um, from all of the circles. And then I thought, well, let's add some more texture and dimension. So I dove into my thread stash, which when I pulled out one, you know, the rest attacks because I can never re-roll my spool of thread and <laughs> it was just, it was everywhere. Um, so it takes me a minute to, to go through and pull out the colors, but I do grab a red, a yellow, a pink, a green, a teal, and a blue, um, and I just add those behind the different embellishments around my page and this is what adding this thread in, in this thread on this this project was probably where I thought oh my gosh how long have you been away from this how long have you been doing this you should I mean like I really felt like okay deep breath Nicole because I was all over the place thread was sticking to me glue was sticking to me right there like the thread was sticking I was flinging it to the side and I thought oh for Pete's sake I need to edit this out but you know what I didn't and this is what sometimes scrappy life is regardless if you've been doing this forever or if you're brand new at it like it, it happens to everyone so as I try to fumble with glue and thread sticking to my fingers in every which way possible um, I'm adding and color blocking the thread behind all of this and then the glue didn't want to stick to the foam and stick to the paper. So I eventually you'll see me pull in my paperweight that I start plopping it down on different places. <laughs> Gluing everything down on this piece was definitely channeling my inner patience. Um, but in the end, I'm glad I didn't let it frustrate me because I absolutely love the way that this project turned out um it, it's it's probably one of my favorite I um there a lot of times I like to incorporate incorporate a lot of mixed media on my layouts and this one along with one other one so far um in this series I did not because there was just so much mixed media already done that Vicky did for us on the pattern paper itself so I thought, well, we're not going to add any mixed media to anything. We're just going to let the paper and the embellishments be the paper and the embellishments. And then maybe it might be easier for somebody if they want to follow along. They can follow along if that's the mixed media is not their thing. Um, so I'm going through. Yeah, I tried to keep that down because I had it in the perfect place, lifted it up, glued it down, worked, went to pick the other side up and it popped right off. So, yeah, there's another fail. Um, but it I went through glue down the palm trees a lot of this um, in fact all of the embellishments on this page I did pop up on one layer of foam um, some of them I did on two the photos I believe I did two layers so that it brought it up again up above that one layer from dimension with the um, with the ephemera um, so I'm just going in through around here gluing down all of these different embellishments um, again, the thread is all in there. Um, those layered vellum and paper hearts from Vicky's collection. I absolutely love them. I don't have enough of them. I feel like I need to have them in every color combination. They are so pretty. Um, this little piece here says family time. It came out of my stash. Um, it's a similar shape 
as to the one on the right that says wonderful that I put on the car. Um, those I just grabbed for my stash. Those pieces were not included in this kit. Um, those are an LV Studio embellishment that I have been hoarding onto and my new goal is to not hoard anymore. We're going to use it. Um, this little line piece that goes up here on the top right under this tangle of thread has been one of those hoarded pieces that I think came from either Freckled Fawn or Studio Calico. Um, not sure because they've been in my stash literally that long. It's been years and years and years and years and they're cute and they're nice and I love rubber embellishments like this, but they're not doing any darn good sitting in my tray on my desk. So we're using it. Um, I go back through, I have, at this point, my fingers are like absolutely coated in glue on this project and I keep trying to push the different pieces down because they keep popping off. This one was the biggest pain in the butt in particular. Um, and that's the one that I will actually put um, the paper weight on first because it needs the weight for a good minute. Um, but I'm going through the other extra pieces that I pulled out of my stash because these are other puffy stickers that I feel like I've had forever. Um, these ones here I know came from Freckled Fawn. I've had them. I love the circles. They had the hearts. So I went with it. I think that the white circles with the black hearts helps make that title pop because at this point that was the only thing that was on my page that was black and white. Um, so I felt that it helped tie in that title a bit more um, and then it also helped tie in that circle shape. So it just worked. Um, I go through, <laughs> there's the paperweight because I was getting impatient. Um, I go through my different enamel dots that I pulled out and you'll see these enamel dots and all of these other embellishments come up again because I'm trying to, to use up my stash, but I'm keeping out the pieces that work for all of my layouts together. So in the coming videos, you'll see, uh, but I'm going to go through, add some enamel dots. These are all from different manufacturers. I know they're Freckled Fawn. I know there's some that are a Hobby Lobby brand. Um, others, I believe, might have been Echo Park. Um, but these are all older enamel dots that I've, like I said, I've just had them for years and I just want to use through them before the stickies don't stick anymore. And um, there's so many new things coming out that I want all the new things, but there's no sense when I still have all of these in my stash. Um, so place some enamel dots here and there around the page. Um, I do think that this is the end of the embellishing that I do on this project. Um, I, just that color blocking the enamel dots, the greens, the yellows, um, some pinks and blues. I do think that's the end of the embellishing that I do on this because there's so much going on already. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to come back in, add that little bit of journaling um, on each of these circles. Like I said, it's, it's a full spot that I broke down onto each of these three, but it, it really works. Um, in the end, I did have to like pull, pop up this heart here just to get it in there. Um, and then I end up putting it back down, but that's about it. Um, so that is actually going to wrap up the layout for today. This is going to be a series. I do have some other layouts coming up. Um, in the series, I have a total of, I believe, my paper tray or my project tray video that posted before this and then at least five project layouts using this but I'm really trying to go through and kill this kit and show you what I can create using that in the processes along the way um so here's I'm wrapping it up close-up photos if um if you'd like to stay tuned for the other videos come out make sure that you hit that subscribe button and click the bell so that you can be notified when the next ones do come um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And until the next video, have a wonderful day. Bye.